Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM 1019 welcome back to Sonic and the Secret Rings. Last left off, we have the first little ring in hand. The Sand Oasis is behind us, and it's time to head on over to Dinosaur Jungle. We need to follow the Pterosaur. We've got work to do. Let's turn on our new skill. Quick Air. Alright, with a fully equipped skill ring, it's time to move forward. There is lots of work to be done. Here we go. Level's already started and we're being chased by a bunch of Triceratops. These are some pissed off dinosaurs. I hope those guys don't stick their horns through me. They just don't give up. If we can just get across the bridge up ahead, we should be okay. Yep, the bridge collapsed because of course it did. You don't have to rub it in, Shara. Alright. Go this way. You can use your homing attack on the balls that don't have spikes. That is a treasure box. Open it up and see what's inside. I didn't need that ring. I didn't need those either. <laughs> uh, I think I need the backstep. Let's see. Probably not. That's just another way I can go here. It looks like. Get on the catapult and tilt the wheel towards yourself. Quickly move it forward again to launch yourself off. So I, some of the movement is. Oh wow! I don't know if I've ever gotten that fire soul before. Some of the movement, as you can see, is, like, really sporadic. Some some of the animation, when they were making this game, doesn't always make perfect sense. Maybe that flying pot can help us across to the other side. Well, all right, that was my fault. I did that way too early. So I am intentionally delaying my attacks here so that I can wait for the reticle to uh, aim at the one that I'm trying to attack, unless I be there for the next five minutes. Let's see what these treasure chests have. Pearls, pearls, and a silver ring. Nothing useful. Well, at least it would be if I was missing some rings. I'm going to try and go for this fire soul here. This is very tricky. This fire soul can mean death if you're not careful, and we got it. All right. Got a bad feeling about this. Whoa. Uh, all right. Sonic wanted to keep moving forward. That's cool. <laughs> Tried to tell him not to. This T-Rex is getting these rocks out of our way. So even though some just some interesting quirks about this engine sometimes, even though the the movement isn't always super, um, super. Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It's not. It's not very. Uh, um, oh yikes! Get out of my way! Thank you. It, it's very finicky. The movement's always very finicky, but there's if there's some stuff that you can kind of do that I guess aren't intentional. Uh, Sometimes you can land on one of those rocks and you're not supposed to and Sonic will do kind of like a little momentum jump off it. 
which kind of helps. It's a really neat little trick when you see it happen. This catapult looks like it works at a different angle than the last. And the goal is in front just of us. A just a little more. All right. And there's the goal. We finished with no rings, but we got here regardless. Easy. And we made it with a silver medal. I will happily take that. That's a level up. Quick slide. Movement to left and right is smoother during sliding. You, spiky thing, do something. Save me. Dare you? I am the king. Must you be so rude? Sorry. Your Highness, where did that spirit go? Just as I feared. He's gone ahead to that castle, and it seems more minions are being assembled. Castle? There's a giant fortress just ahead. It's a relic from an ancient kingdom. Right, so we caught up to the pterosaur that stole uh, or that kidnapped the king and we saved him he's probably going back to his castle but we've got more work to do there is a foundry in the distance that we need to make our way to but a lot to do here still so let's get to work all right so unfortunately I can't equip the uh, quick slide yet unless I turn something off which I'm not currently willing to do so we're gonna leave this as it is for now Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, wait for the ring, please. <laughs> I think this is a diehard challenge. I didn't look close enough at what I'm doing here. I'm pretty sure this is a diehard challenge, so there might be some risks I'm not willing to take here. I'm gonna try to get this fire soul. I might think I can... No, see, I don't know how they expect you to get that fire soul. Getting close to that one just seems to be death. I'm jumping to get across these gaps a little quicker. All right, that was my fault. I got cocky. flower out of here. I'm just going to bypass it. And there was a rail there, so we got a fire soul out of that. Uh, excuse me. I am now in need of rings. Just an empty cage here for no apparent reason. Ooh, that was dangerous. I uh, that was a that was an inten unintentional button input that almost got me killed. All right, rings, good. All right. Ooh, tower cactus. Very important that you jump and jump dash over that. And then there's this cactus in front of you, and then this one too. They just put there just to mess with you. We made it to the end. Too easy. Another silver medal. I'll take it. All right, ring cap has been increased. And we got all-rounder. That will reduce the speed loss, uh, general speed loss caused by rugged terrain. And we got a hard break. I don't think I'll be equipping that yet. Bunch of missions are getting unlocked. All right, let's collect rings and then do rampage. That Rampage is going to be crucial unlocking some key missions. Yeah, that all-rounder is six points. I just want to turn on the quick slide for right now. 
Okay. All right, time to collect 99 rings. Whoops. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Here, I'm... That was really dumb. Uh, I jumped and I absolutely shouldn't have, so I'm just gonna quick restart that. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Oh, man, I missed that, uh, that silver ring. That's unfortunate. Uh, I am just dodging all the wrong ways today. <laughs> See, that's that's just comical when that happens. All right, cool. Whoa, hey! Oh man, this mission is not being very kind to me. All right, so I kind of absolutely botched that opening. Could have been done with it by now, but we're gonna get a bulk of rings from here. Okay, we did it. That was not a good mission. No problem. <laughs> That's fine. No. I'm not really doing it to wow you guys. We're just kind of playing this. Okay, let's go on a rampage. Ten enemies waiting to be killed. So, the rampage isn't going to get us the world ring, but it's going to unlock some other missions. I'm pretty sure I remember the mission that I need to do, and it's not a fun one. Um, there are some there are some really dumb missions in this world. We're just going to come across them. It's going to happen. You'll know so, them when you see them. Like going to pick some flowers? This is no time for pooping around. What? Look who's here. Look out, son. Okay, one enemy down. Little couple weird transitions. I don't know why they put those in there. Alright, hold on. Hold on. I want to go this way. There we go. Uh, oh, that's right. That's what I was supposed to do. Yeah, I can't get out of here. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, here we go. Let's back it up. Back it up. All right, let's hold it here. All right, I'm going to wait for this. Yep. Oop. Wait till he shoots. Darn. So what you're seeing right now is some of the stuff that a lot of people like the critics had problems with when playing this game. Some of this is bound to happen with this technology. Oops. Oh, that was a that was a bad choice. Come on. All right, I'm going to hold here until it wakes up and starts shooting at me. Here we go. All right, there we go. That's two. More more work to be done. Worth it. Back up. There you go. Three, four. That we didn't get the fire soul that way, but we got the mission objective, which is a little more important at this point. Okay. Okay, halfway there. Gravity be damned. Maybe we can use its attacks to get to the other side. All right. Over halfway done.
Oh, that, okay. Hold on, hold on. Stop. And what you're seeing now is the reason why we need the brake button. Because sometimes the slide will absolutely not bring you to a stop. Even when you really, really want it to. Alright, we're just going to move. I don't think I need to be up there. Two more to go. And there's one over on that side. And there's one in front of us. Well, I guess we're not going for him. We're going this way. All right, that's 10 enemies. That took longer than it needed to. Another level up. What new skill are we grabbing now? Quick grind increases grinding speed. All right, stealth attack. Do not defeat enemies. Okay, so let's uh, skip that one and go right to the special challenge. We need to smash some genie eggs. Uh, I will turn on the... Probably going to need this hard break a little more. Destroy these eggs. Uh, I might need to restart. You might occasionally see me restart, depending on if I if I get an input error or not. Um, I there we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right, four more eggs to go, and we gotta find them. Come on, there we go. Stop. That's two eggs. So this is a mission that's gonna require multiple laps around the same path. I'm gonna have to keep track of which ways I've gone here. So I'm gonna take the top path here. And this will get me to this egg right here. Next go around, I need to make sure that I don't do that. Here we go, second lap. Two eggs left to find. Okay, let's try a little harder to get, let's try to get this fire soul this time. There we go. Tilt the Wii remote left or right to change direction. All right, this time we want to take the bottom path, so I need to jump out early, right around here. To get off of the flying pot. And now back step to this button and go forward. One more egg left to find, which should be on our path forward. Uh, okay, I believe I think it's this way. I really hope it's right into this box here. No. Okay. Ooh. Targeting. You're messing with me. Yep. There's the final egg. All right, that mission's done. Huh. No problem.
More skills. H expand. Range of homing attacks. That'll be helpful eventually. Hey, look at that. It's and look, we found the Nux World Ring. Driven the spirits mad. I think it is only recently that they have been behaving this way. Well, I think I've had just about enough of this. <sighs> Speaking of which, as genie of the ring, can I ask you for a favor? Oh, master, your wish is my command. Do you think you could take this judgment thing out of my chest for me? No worries. Cheer up. Hmm? Don't sweat it. Anyways, no adventure is fun if it's too easy, right? Although, it would have been nice if your magic did work. In any case, okay then. Let's keep going. Yes. So in truth, I actually wasn't expecting to come across that world ring from that mission. I thought that was attached to another one, so that was a nice little bonus. We got the green world ring in hand. Two rings down, five to go. Uh, but we're left with a little problem. We still cannot leave the dinosaur jungle. We have to do a certain other mission that will allow us to leave. I believe that's going to come after a couple more missions. Uh, we got some more work to do either way. So let's keep at it. Turn on the Sage Expand. Okay, so... A dinosaur egg? Alright, so I think we'll be able to leave Dinosaur Jungle after this mission, and the only reason I'm saying that is because this is one of the few missions in this game that is the absolute bane of my existence. This is a really, really obnoxious mission that's going to probably require a few laps. I think we've got a spotted green egg right here, and we came across the right nest immediately. That's very fortunate. Hopefully we'll get that lucky with three other eggs. Otherwise, we're going to be here for a while as I try to do certain laps and remember the patterns. All right, let's go top. Come on, get on the path. All right, top was not the way I wanted to go because now I'm doing a lap without a without a genie egg or a dinosaur egg. So I'll have to, I got to remember that. If I can make this take less than five minutes, I'll be having a good day. Oh, oh that was almost death. Kind of saved myself there. I'm going to hit this rock so I can get this, um, so I can get this fire soul. There we go. All right, let's go bottom this time. So we're basically always going to have to go bottom when we lap here. Come on, hit the button. There you go. Okay, got a green star egg. If those iron balls hit us, we'll fall into the water. Shoot. All right, so that was uh, that was a case of poor judgment. I thought, why did I? All right, so here's the bad news. Now all the eggs have just shuffled. I hit that rock because I thought there might be a fire soul behind it. Um, there wasn't. Unfortunate. Now all the eggs have shuffled. But we retain our progress, which is good. Just need is to get an egg. Alright, here's where the green star egg is. Or star nest is, so we're going to have to remember that if we come across that egg. Alright, let's go up this way. Hey, there's the green star. Perfect. All right, so we got an egg. We know where the location is. Well, I tried to do a, a low jump there just so I could get that fire soul and overshot it. All right, so the green spotted egg is still in, is in play again, and the nest for it is over here. That's important to remember. This should be the simple lap around the map, though. I think this will be the quickest way to take us back to... Yes, we were already here, so we'll be getting to the... 
uh, to the right uh, nest. Beautiful. Halfway done. There is an egg on top of that uh, that long neck dinosaur, so let's go see him. Okay, left path this time. Whoops. And the yellow spot nest is here. What egg is on his back? Is the green spotted? Okay, so I'm curious. Can we backstep our way to... That is a no. All right, so we're going to have to take the long way around. Unfortunate, that's a very long way around. Okay, and that's that's where the uh, the yellow spotted egg is. I'll have to remember that because I'm definitely going to have to come back here, that means. I don't want to touch this egg here. That's going to swap my egg if I do. That was a red star egg. And it's, it's debatable which one's going to be quicker just yet. Okay. There's the green star. Okay, we need to go to the right this time to put this egg back in its home. I'm going for a low jump here so I can get this fire soul. Beautiful. Alright, and this egg is back where it belongs. Whoa! No! No! Well, it was. It would have been if I somehow didn't miss the nest. All right, let's take another lap. Here we go. Let's do this again. Go to the right. This time I'll do a deep catapult launch. Okay, that's back where it belongs. Here we go. So now we gotta do another lap without an egg. We're gonna have to go back to the beginning and pick one of them up. We're gonna have to do a very large lap too, I believe, because the yellow egg is at the beginning and the nest is at the end. So here we go, we're gonna go left this time. Yep, there's a nest that we're going to be looking for, but the egg is at the beginning of this level. After the back here. Okay, that's a lap done. And the egg is here. Okay, here we go. Almost done. The only thing we got to watch out for now is making sure we do not pick up the other egg because I don't know where the nest for it is. And I have no intention of figuring that out right now. There we go. log surfing one more time take this turn wide and we'll go to the left and we're gonna pop this egg back in its nest Dunzo 
seven minutes in nearly eight minutes and we still got a bronze level medal that is not a mission that's meant to be really really quickly done so I'm glad we got that done few more missions left and we can leave the dinosaur jungle let's get this uh, I don't think it's the stealth attack one we need to do let's do this ring collection one Goal is behind us. Basically because this is not a goal-based mission. This is an objective-based mission. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> I tried to go for the chest. Missed it. Let's try it again. There we go. That's the reason why I wanted to do that, because that's 23 rings right there. And this is backing me up. That'll be important, because that'll unlock once I get rid of that genie, and that should be another silver, or another treasure chest with another silver ring in it. Beautiful. Halfway done. Well, almost halfway done. Another silver ring. Okay. Getting there. Let's go for this silver ring here. Okay, and we got about 15 more rings to go. Eight more left. Three more to go. Oh, well, it was... We're in order. Oh, no. Break. Stop breathing fire. Thank you. Back step. All right. There we go. Back where we were. Just got to collect three uh, single rings. But we're back in the beginning of the level, so that might make it a little tricky. I think we can get them from here. Yep, here we go. All we gotta do is collect these three rings over here, and that is a mission done. Very good. Huh. No problem. No. All right, let's do this stealth attack. Uh, what was the? We have okay, so we need to get through the level without killing any enemies. I'm not going for that fire soul. I'm not going to take the chance. Whoop. Silver medal for that. Beautiful. No. Level up. 
Homing stability. Recovery time after performing homing attack decreased. Additional rings when restarting after defeat. And Evil Foundry is unlocked. We can leave the dinosaur jungle. We got some time left, so let's take care of the first mission for the Evil Foundry. Let's go rock the place. Go for the goal. Head for the center. I'm going to keep uh, um, gathering more skill points before I set a few more skills here. This level is actually really cool. Three, two, one. Is this a castle? Uh, okay. T don't run yeah, down or anything. No ordinary castle. <laughs> That's because I got the uh, I got the the mini turbo wrong. Whoa, who's the big well, guy? yeah, I ain't getting that fire soul. I've never seen a spirit get that big. Oh wow, that that button. Okay. Maybe we can hit the shot with a holding attack. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. Whoops. I did a break there. All right, see that I shouldn't have done. I should have. <laughs> I was going way too fast, and I missed the um, the bomb. I don't know what happened there. I just got a lot more air than I thought I was gonna. Whoops. Move the Wii remote forward quickly. Keep trying, and you can break free. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Guess I overshot the rail switch there. there either. Here, bomb these enemies in front of us. Getting closer to the core of the foundry. Want to be careful about getting crushed here. Sometimes you can get around the sides, but not always. Oh, almost would have made that. Gonna go for this ring here. Way too early. 
I don't know what happened there. I didn't... Sometimes this Wiimote will detect movement that I'm not making. A little bit of phantom movement going on. <laughs> that, that was my fault. I totally overshot the ring. There we go. Alright, uh, there was a the ring there was a little hard to notice. That would have saved me a little bit of time. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened there either. There we go. And I did not get the right height on that jump at all. There we go. What is... Alright, so what's happening is I'm taking too long. See if I can do this a little faster. Alright, nope. I'm going to hold it here until these genies come by so I have a path. There we go. Okay, I don't... Design decisions, man. I don't know why that they just put that there. That's That was a little unfair. All right, we're almost there. We're going to take some twists and turns as we get to the Foundry's core now. Love the skid drifts that Sonic does here. They're really cool. And we made it. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the Foundry, because we're not coming back here for a while. We have unlocked the Soul Gauge. And if you're a little confused as to why and how we unlocked it, well, let's take some... Let's take a little exposition break. Starting... now. It's him! What's he doing here? He's calling more spirits! Spirits? <laughs> Come forth from the fiery depths of Jahannam, ye condemned by Iblis, ye suffering! That's... It's a djinn that controls fire! It's called an Ifrit! already carved up half of the pages that make up this world. Then why do you need to call forth a creature like that? <laughs> I've decided to let the Ifrit burn whatever pages remain in the book. You, blue rat! Have you gathered the seven rings yet? And enough of that rat stuff! Seriously, I'm a hedgehog! Hedgehog! All you filthy vermin are worthless, just the same. At any rate, you'd better hurry it up. Dang! With only half of the flame left, only half of your life force remains! Wait! <laughs> hey, you! Get out of our way! What the? That didn't work? It's no use, Sonic. Your life is tied to the flame. You cannot fight fire with fire. Oh, yeah? Just watch me. Oh, this does not look good. Shara, lend me your power. Time break. 
sorry, but we've got to run. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll get the chance to play again real soon. All right, so the Eraser Jin has summoned the Ifrit, and uh, we have unlocked the ability to time break and speed break with the um, with the Soul Gauge. There's new missions now in the Sand Oasis. We have to go back as we seek guidance, some special counsel. So let's do this, and then we'll call it a, a video. All right, let's turn on this Owl Rounder. With the Ifrit there, we cannot proceed, so we need to retrace our steps, so to speak. So, this is a head-to-head -head mission. I'm racing a a speed, uh, the genie of the wind who's known for speed. So basically, I just need to get to the goal before he does. With our new uh, time and speed break powers, this should be a little simpler to do. Finally, these orbs, these pearls here, are going to be coming into play as they charge our speed, ga our uh, soul gauge. And then, once we have a enough of a charge, we can use them for a burst of speed or to slow down time to avoid certain obstacles. How did he... Okay. This genie came to play. Speed break. Speed break. There we go. That gave us a little bit of distance. And there's the goal. We got through that mission with a pretty healthy lead. Just made it. No. All right. We have unlocked the Levitated Ruin. And that is going to be our next stop. And Let here's why. Back here. Sinbad might be able to share some of his worldly knowledge with you. So, where is he? Well, according to rumor, he was fighting some pirates when he was taken away by the roof. The roof? It's a giant bird. Well, not exactly a bird. It's more like a living fossil. Huh. Well, okay. So, then where is this, uh, bird thing? I think the roof locks someplace out in the skies to the west. The skies, huh? Okay. Hey, Shara! Oh, Master. What is thy wish? We need that magic carpet. We've got ourselves a roof to track down. All right, Alibaba here to save the day. Uh, with his counsel, we're going after the Rook, which is at the Levitated Ruin. And that's what we'll be doing when we come back next week. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums from our GSL and YouTube fun. And myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.